Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Plus 3. Year 5 has arrived. They dropped Year 5 like one day early, which was very big surprise to wake up to, and also an annoyance because I was working 9 till 5, didn't get back till 6, and so I had to wait until we recorded. Um, but it's all ready, we can begin. Year 5, let's get into it. In Chapter 1 of Year 5 first, we will be reunited with our friends in the Great Hall, and we will be learning all about ghouls, which I thought was a magic for magical creatures. But it's very much the opposite. It's defense against the dark arts. So ghouls are very harmless and you know, we don't, I suppose it's an easy start to defending against it. We will find out. And also we'll be learning a cheering chat and discussing other things that came with the year five update. In future videos, we will also have a prefect sub quest so be sure to look out for that. So, year five, what does it bring with it? We've got new friendships to potentially make. As you can see there, we've got four new potential friends that we make. Jay Kim, Badia Ali, Liz Tuttle, and Diego Kaplan. In addition to the new content, we have Professor Binns, who will be a history of magic teacher, who was originally a teacher of that, but then fell asleep, never woke up, to came back as a ghost, and continued to teach it. Uh, so we need to give a new accent for Professor Binns. He didn't appear in the films, was in the book. Let's hope this year consists of nothing but solid, believable facts. My name Professor Binns, and I will have this accent from now on. It's really... <laughs> it's going to the throat. So we don't have too many classes with him. <laughs> I hope you spent your summer holidays studying the dark arts, shiny hunter. I did. I've been practicing my friendly growls. Just in case I find that escape chimera. Still nobody's found that escape chimera. God damn it, cattle burn. How is nobody dead yet? <sighs> Shiny! Congratulations on becoming a prefect. That prefect badge looks amazing on you. Thanks, Benny. It's great to see you. How did you spend your summer holidays? Uh, studying the dark arts. I read everything I could on the dark arts. Everything. Lessons have been a joke to this point, but Rate Pick is the professor this year, so I want to be prepared. They've been a joke because they haven't been going on. Are you sure you trust her? She saved my life and promised to help me find my brother, so... Kind of, but no. Although I don't know how I'll search for him while spending the entire year in detention. I'm just happy that you didn't get expelled. Me too. You never would have had a chance to meet my little sister Beatrice. Hi! Hi, I'm Shiny. I thought you might be Penny's sister when I heard the name Hayward during the sorting ceremony. Turned out to be true. And now we're both in Hufflepuffs. I was hoping for Hufflepuff. I would have been happy with Gryffindor too. Bee is a big fan of yours. She's always asking me to tell her stories of my adventures with the famous curse breaker, Shiny Hunter. Famous? Now can I join you? Will you take me on your next curse breaking adventure? Um, how can I break this to you? Yeah, let's let's go with that. It's all right. I just uh, don't want you to get hurt. Sorry, but I don't want you to get hurt. Maybe when you're a little older. Yeah. <laughs> you investigated the cursed ice when you were first year. That's true. But still. Harry Potter defeated he who must not be named when he was just a baby. Kind of. Yeah, but... Shani's right, B. There will be plenty of time for death-defying adventures when you're a little bit older. Not fair. If Dumbledore was here, I bet he'd let me break curses with you. And he'd give you points for it. Why don't you show Shiny what you made for him? Because he won't let me break curses. Come on, B. You spent all summer on it. She's very creative. Fine. I can't stay mad at the hero of Hogwarts or anyone, really. I sewed you a toy puff scheme. They're cute, but tough, just like me. <gasps> I love puff scheme. <clears throat> Look at it. It's got buttons for eyes. <laughs> and it teleports to my hand. Thanks, Beatrice. This is so cool. It's made with real puff scheme hair. A little bit creepy. She saved her puskeen every Sunday and collected the clippings for your gift. Penny was upset because you can use the hair as a potion ingredient. Hmm, we might need that later. 
Possibly. Well, thank you. It's amazing. Did you know puffskins eat spiders and moths? I, I didn't, you know. I did not. Let's go and take a tour of the Hufflepuff common room, B. I'm sure Shiny wants to catch up with the rest of our friends. I do. I can see them behind me. I can also see Ben behind me. Nice meeting you, Shiny Hunter. I was liking you, but Shiny Hunter, you better drop that right away. Let's talk to our friends, though. We have Liz Tuttle, Barnaby, Rowan, and Charlie. Three of my favourite. Charlie's not that great, he just talks about dragons all the time. I've been thinking about the dragon portrait. Expert timing. I spent an entire summer reading about Newt's commander. Don't look so surprised. It's a man I'm quite surprised you didn't say something stupid. We get to take our ordinary wizarding level examinations this year. I've never imagined having this many friends. We do have a lot of friends. Like, a lot. Oh, and the more friends have appeared. Look, Ben just casually being there like nothing happened. Uh, I understand if you don't want to talk to me after everything that happened. Alright, it's broken the ice. What you got to say, Andre? Let's explore more of Hogsmeade last year, Shiny. Let's. I can't believe this is my last year at Hogwarts. I know, I need to finish you as a friend first. We're going to take our mischief making to another level this year, Shiny Hunter. Still with a Shiny Hunter. I'm starting to feel a bit sorry for the filch. Something must be wrong with me. Yes. Who are you and what have you done with Tonks? Success. Part one, done. What's next? Hey Bill. I hear you're a prefect, Shiny. Welcome to the club. Thanks, Bill. It's cool that Charlie became a prefect too. Okay. Plot hole filled. <laughs> Technically. Yeah, mum was over the moon. She had it in her head that every Weasley from here on will become a prefect. Not likely. You and I should talk after Professor McGonagall's welcoming speech. McGonagall is giving the speech. What happened to Dumbledore? No one knows. Welcome back, everyone, to Hogwarts. Thank you, Professor McGonagall. The headmaster is attending to business elsewhere, so he's asked me to deliver this year's welcoming speech. In recent years, we have been distracted by nonsense and obsessed with threats, both imagined and real. No longer. Hogwarts is a place of learning, and it is our duty as students and teachers to respect and defend its purpose. First year students are embarking on a journey to become the best witches and wizards they can be. Fifty year students, fifth year students, will be taking owl examinations, which are critical to the success in subsequent years. Seventh year students will take their newts, determining whether they succeed in the pursuit of their desired career. No pressure, Bill. No pressure at all. The staff are here to help you, including our new Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Rakepick. Oh, I do not get on with that much. Please focus on your studies and realise that this year will determine the course of your wizarding career. And please enjoy the feast. Let's dig in, guys. As if I wasn't stressed enough over my newts. God damn it, am I gonna go? <sighs> what did you want to talk about, Bill? Let's head to the library, Shoney. We can talk whilst I study. Well, to be honest, Bill, I actually would have liked to eat first, but. Oh, you're gonna wait. I went together with my brothers before we meet, Shoney. I'll let you know when I find them. So, can I dig into this? Yes. Nope, no. Have, I, God damn it. Skipped it. And now we're going to meet Bill in the library. On an empty stomach. Who's in here? Ismelda. Hello, welcome Ismelda to year five. Why can't I find any ominous black quills? Because I got them all. These Weasley boys are extraordinarily well behaved. <clears throat> These ones are. Just wait. Oh, who's that? It's Percy. Wow, I feel like I'm an official Weasley. I need to earn your jumper. I thought I'd get us all together since I need to study for my newts and Charlie's come to study for his owls. Yeah, we should get studying too. Percy just likes to study. We haven't been properly introduced. No, we haven't. I'm Percy Weasley. 
future Gryffindor prefect, head boy and eventual minister of magic. Wow, ambitious. Sounds like you have your entire life planned out. If you let him, he'll tell you what to do with your life too. I don't like Percy. This is my loyal rat, Scabbers. <laughs> yeah. It's not a rat. <laughs> loyal? It runs off at every chance it gets. There's something off about that rat. R Bill's on to the case. Hey, Bill, just transfigure it. Untransfigure it. Ron likes him. Are you going to give it to him? Ron is eight and he likes everything except spiders. What did you want to talk about, Bill? Yeah, reference to how much Ron the hate spiders. Can you study with his first shiny? I won't be able to think straight until I finish this book on ancient runes. Runes. <laughs> ancient runes. How could I turn down a Weasley Brothers study session? I'll tell you how. I've missed my lunch. I'm waiting on an answer from Bill and he's holding me up with books. <sighs> study with the Weasleys. You're supposed to keep your voice down in the library. Oh my god, this guy's going to be a perfect prefect. If every lesson was about dragons, I wouldn't mind studying at all. We know. This arithmetic textbook is making my head spin. You really shouldn't put your elbows on the table. Oh god. Sorry. Well, I'm going to talk to Scabbers. Squeak! <laughs> is what he really would say. I don't even want to imagine how difficult Snape's written owl exam will be. Solid. How can I concentrate on my owls when my brother's in the next vault? You're supposed to keep your voice down in the library. Oh my god, sorry Percy. Immediately dislike Percy. I'm glad he's not on my friends list. <laughs> if I don't get high mutant grades in my charms, I'll never be a curse breaker. Don't worry Bill, you'll pass it. Look at you. It's like the first day of term and you guys are studying. Jeez, relax a little bit. No, I don't even have my elbows on the table. It's Bill who's got his elbows on the table. Tell him. Maybe he is telling him. Still, I don't like you. I don't like you, Percy. Success. The cursed faults don't have anything on the nastily exhausting wizarding tests. I don't care what I have to miss to study for my owls. Nothing will stop me from becoming a Dragonologist! If you two were better at managing your time, you wouldn't be so stressed. Oh my god. Tell it to your rat. Nice comeback. <laughs> I want to find time to teach you a new dueling spell, Shiny. It's quickly becoming one of my favourites. It's what we've been waiting for. Who knows what we'll get up to this year. I want to make sure I can help you as much as I can before leaving Hogwarts. Thanks, Bill. You're genuinely a good friend. Like, I will, I will actually miss Bill. Mr. Weasley. Yes? Yes? Yes, Professor? William Weasley. What is it, Madam Rakepick? Professor Rakepick. Oh my god, shut up, Percy. Right, it'll take some time getting used to that. Follow me. You too, Mr. Hunter. We have work to do. <gasps> Meet Rake Pick at night. Come to the training grounds. It's time to make an announcement and teach you a new spell. Yes. I'm on my way. I need to meet her at night. Slightly ominous. Why is Marula here? <sighs> Congratulations. Of all the students in Hogwarts, I've chosen you three to serve as my apprentice curse breakers. Oh, nice. Mr. Weasley for his bravery and determination. Miss Snide for her ambition and strength. And Mr. Hunter for his courage, natural talent and obvious connection to the curse folks. Yeah. I'm looking forward to showing each of you how to leave a lasting impact on the wizarding world. I'm honoured. You have to earn our trust. Oh, I'm a ruler. I don't feel like I can say you have to earn our trust because she's done so much for us, but it's too much. Like to say you still have to earn our trust. I mean, she's earned my trust, but I still don't trust her. It's like a false trust. So I'm just going to go with why I'm a ruler because why, why is she there? Honestly. Why Marula? She can't be trusted, 
And Bill and I are more capable. We don't need her help. Yeah. You needed my help when I saved you from Mr. Copper just months ago. And now we need each other's help to find the next curse vault and break its curse before anyone's hurt. Hunter is right. I am? Wait a minute. I'd rather find the next vault on my own. I'm strong enough to handle anything. Damn it. You're welcome to go alone, Miss Snide, but be warned that you'll almost certainly die. What? Did you just threaten her life? Or are you saying that she'd stumble upon something that will kill her? I don't know about she'd certainly die. Let me share my experiences defeating dark wizards, decimating deadly beasts and breaking ancient curses. Show you places that you never knew existed and open your eyes to things you never thought possible. Teach you spells capable of capturing or obliterating anything foolish enough to stand in your path. One such lesson is the incarcerous spell. Allow me to demonstrate. Right, so let's learn the incarcerous spell. Hi Marula. My mum once used this spell to bind and gag an aura. That's not something to be proud of. Pay close attention to where your wand is pointed. This spell can be used to bind nearly any person or creature. I've read about this spell. It conjures thick ropes that wrap around the target. If Rake Pick is right, this spell could save my life. There's a lot of spells that could save my life. If you're wondering where you may have seen this spell before in the Harry Potter films, it was cast by Dolores Umbridge when they were in the Forbidden Forest. She actually, when she says it, it actually sounds like she says Indicarcerous. Success! And this is going to be usable in dueling, so it'll be exciting to see actually if it's effective. We'll find out. Demonstrate the Incarcerous spell on Miss Snide, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> Why me? You said it yourself. You're strong enough to handle anything. Paper. Oh, well. Yes, I suppose that's true. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've lost my wand. Incarcerous. <laughs> How I roll. Well done. I don't, I don't think she can breathe. I suppose you should save her, Mr. Hunter. Finite incantatum. Are you alright, Marula? Of course. <laughs> this is a valuable lesson. We are a team now, a family. No matter what happens, we must protect one another. Mm. Okay. And in the final part, we are off to meet Ben in the courtyard. <laughs> Hello, Ben. I don't hold it against you. Shiny, I'm, I'm surprised you came. Well, I've earned that nine, so I want to see how you're doing. I wanted to make sure you're okay. I've hardly seen you since, you know, you tried to kill me. Uh, I should be the one checking on you. Uh, I've just been so so ashamed and afraid. What are you afraid of? That's, that, that's not a question. Everything. <laughs> that someone might take control of me again. They might make me do something worse. Th that I might have already done something worse. I can't remember. Tell me everything that happened that night. We'll see if we can work it out. Notice I have my wand on me at any moment, just in case you turn on me. Right, let's talk about Ben's attack. See if we can figure out what happened, what led up to it. So, tell me, tell me more, Ben. I, I think I was talking to one of the Weasleys. Bill, it's Bill! Bill's are No. I remember putting one of those red robes, but it was like I was someone else. Okay. I remember resting on the sofa in the Gryffindor common room. So he remembers putting on the robes. I wish I knew for certain whether Ben is telling the truth. Hmm. So he does have some memories about whilst being that way. I remember Rakebit talking to me in the corridor, asking lots of questions. What's the last thing you remember before Rakebit stopped you? So to loosely summarise it, you have some memory of whilst you were taken over, because you remember putting on the red robes. You saw Bill. So to summarize, Ben remembers being with Bill Weasley at some point. He remembers, has some memory of whilst he was under control, potentially. Somebody was under control of him. Oh, he wasn't under control. And he also met Rakepick. So Rakepick before us, that is just, I don't know. One thing I don't know to, to whether to do, because I massively suspect Rakepick is R. 
because she's just too nice and I don't know she's helping us it feels like she's leading us into something because if she's accessed each of the cursed vaults before us then she's waiting for us to go in to potentially you know use the items that we've got to do so I just feel like she could be leading us into it she's my number one suspicion at the moment but then there's also that element of do they want to lead us into thinking that that bit of evidence that ruled her out as well but you know that doesn't necessarily rule her out she's smart she could have planted a bit of information that tells us she's not our so yeah i'm still thinking she's our then it could be rowan <laughs> who knows uh, i wish i remembered more but i still don't even after all of this time I don't think you're going to get that back. But Professor Dumbledore tried everything after you and Rapeboot took me to his office. Oh, crap. So Dumbledore tried everything, and that didn't work. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. Nothing is hopeless. One way or another, we'll work this out. Sure. After everything that's happened, do you still trust me, Shiny? Ooh, this is a hard one because it's definitely I don't not I don't trust you it's somewhere probably between I'm not sure and I trust you so I do trust I do trust that he was under control has somebody had him under their control yeah I trust you I trust you Ben I think someone's using you and we're gonna find out who it is thank you shiny I don't know what I'd do without you. Watch out! Oh my god! God damn it! Ben! Jesus Christ! Uh. I told you death was coming to Hogwarts. Shiny Hunter. I'm looking at the wand, I'm just like, who's got that wand? <laughs> who's this one? We still need you alive before this year ends. One of your friends has to die. Oh my god! <laughs> Me, just like. Ah! They started this year in killer fashion, bringing some mystery straight into year five. Who was that? Is it another person that's under the control of whoever has a, been under the control? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know what to think. But that's yeah, that's that is all we need to think for chapter one. That was a big chapter. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the defense against the dark arts in a single episode. We're gonna be going through that because it's 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 new and interesting and we'll be facing a ghoul. Ghoul. I'm really happy with the start. Pulling in that kind of you know, we thought we were all like, oh, I mean I even have a wand. Do you know the ironic thing? I was talking to Ben had my wand as soon as I put it down that's when I got attacked I was on my guard about Ben I didn't even see that coming damn it so that genuinely would have happened if I was actually there because I would have been totally off guard they cast the non-verbal right they cast the non-verbal what's going on I'm gonna remember that wand I'm looking out for it in future classes around people Hmm, maybe that will give us some clue as to who it is. Who knows? Let me know what your thoughts are. Who do you think is now behind the red cloak? Who is it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from them. Welcome to year five. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all for me. See you guys soon.